<laughs> so they cast us off. Now jump down to 13 on yours. That's the 13. They cast us off and left us there. Esther chapter 3 and verse 13. And the letters were sent by post into all the king's provinces to destroy, to kill, uh -huh. and to cause to perish all Jews, both young and old, little children and women, in one day, even upon the 13th day of the 12th month, which is the month of Dar, and to take the spoil of them for a prey. So this month they sat here and they went to war on the 13th day. 13th, 14th, and 15th day, they went to slaughter. And these were ordained by the king at that time. To sit here and say, yo, your people need to stand up and protect yourself. That's the same thing that's going on right now. If our brothers don't learn to stand up and speak up for themselves and take and, and look after and protect yourself, because the cops ain't gonna do it. They don't never know where on time whenever you need them. That's right. But people got this belief in their mind that they've made this perception within our, our system right now to sit and say, oh, I'm in trouble. Let me call the cops. They ain't gonna do nothing for you. It's <laughs> for us. It may get us killed. God! <laughs> it may get us killed. So you can't trust these things. That's right. Uh, give me Esther. Give me Esther 8, chapter 8, verse 10 and 12. Okay, two Chronicles. Two Chronicles 36. Uh, Book of Esther, chapter 8. Verse 10, and he wrote to the king of Ashurus, Go ahead. name, and sealed it with the king's ring, uh -huh. and sent the letter by the post of horseback, Go ahead. and riders on mules, Go ahead. camels, and young dromedaries, 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 Go ahead, keep going. Where, wherein the king granted the Jews which were every in every city to gather themselves together. To what? To gather themselves together. Go ahead. And to stand for their lives. To do what? And to stand for their lives. Go ahead. To destroy. And to do what? To destroy. And what else? To slay. Go ahead. And to cause to perish. All right. All the power of the people and province Go ahead, keep going. That would assault them, both little ones and women, to take the spoil of them for a prey. One more verse. One more verse, verse 12. Upon one day in the provinces of King Ashurus, namely upon the 13th day Go of ahead. the 12th month, Go ahead. which is the month of Adar. So the 13th month of this, this I said, yo, they slayed anybody that was willing to put them to death. That want to do harm to them. Come. You get what I'm saying? And the same thing is really playing out today. Yeah, we're still fighting. That's you see right. Our brothers are all, are all the news you're hearing of shootouts with cops right now. Come. It's already going down. And every city, if you don't stand up for yourself, because these white people looking to sit here and put you in jail, rape you, rob you, murder, do whatever else they want to do. That's to right. So you better stand for something right now. That's what's going on. Most high put in everybody's spirit right now. Yo, I'm not taking that shit no more, period. I don't wanna deal with it. But as long as he says, that's fine. You can live that way. Live by my laws and stand firm. You get what I'm saying? Um, what I get you, Judge? Second Chronicles 36, 30, chapter 30, verse six. Chapter 30, verse six. Second Chronicles chapter 30 and verse 6. Bring it out! So the post went with the letters from the king and, and his princes throughout all Israel and Judah, and according to the commandment of the king, saying, Ye children of Israel, turn again unto the Lord God Wait of minute, Abraham. Say Israel again? Turn, turn again, again unto the Lord. You're so like ye it. children of Israel, turn again, go ahead. Unto the Lord God of Abraham, oh. Isaac. In, in Israel, and he will return to the remnant of you uh -huh. that are escaped 
out of the hand of the kings of Assyria. So he oh. said, I'm going to turn on in you if you turn away from them. That's right. You know what I'm saying? All those that turned away from King of Syria, King from Babylon, turned away from Trump and turned on to the Most High God. You get what I'm saying? But the thing is, is I can sit here and say this, it's not on me. You got to sit here and actually put in that work. That's He's got to physically, physically see your walk and say, I'm, I'm making an attempt to wear fringes. I'm making an attempt to put aside things to, uh, to do on Sabbath. I'm taking a day off for his Sabbath days and things like that. He's asking you to put in that work. That work still shows out physically. It's a spiritual action, but it still shows out physically. You get what I'm saying? You know, brother, oh, he got friends. You see, you? He, yeah, he in the law. Yeah, he in the law. I ain't even got to ask no more. I can see who is. That's right. You get what I'm saying? And that's what he's asking of us. He says, I want you to be zeal for me. If you can be zeal for this wickedness, you can be zeal for me. That's right. You get what I'm saying? You should have no shame in rocking fringes and burning your clothes on Sabbath. He said you should have no shame in these things. T job. You get what I'm saying? That's right. So, back to Esther. Uh, brother, just uh, one more question because I got to bounce. Um, I know it says like, uh, I'm paraphrasing right now. It's like um, like your two brothers uh, don't don't disagree. I mean, they don't agree. They about to beef or whatever. Then they should go over to the side, right? And like talk amongst each other. But okay, you got so many brothers out here that's like lost in the sauce. You know what I mean? You, you take one of these cats right around the corner, you get into it, take them around the corner and try to talk to them, man. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> like, you can't talk to some of these cats. Give me Malik. You got something? Go ahead. Give me what you got. I got it. Right? You know, this is this is a goal. You know what um, what you just said, where here, this is a curse. And why we, why you can't do that. Deuteronomy 28. Verse 54, so that, the man, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards his wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. So we're basically going to have evil brothers that are against us, man. You get what I'm saying? There's going to be brothers. Like, give me first, uh, first John 2, 19. Oh, um, he's gonna sit and tell you that, look, man, we got brothers that we gotta deal with that are part, there are, there's Israelite brothers out here, but you can sell, their only only objectives to sit here and throw those off that are trying to seek the most high. That's right. You get what I'm saying? Uh, first John, second, first John, uh, second chapter, verse 19. And they went out from us, but they were not of us. For they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us, and they but they went out that they might be manifest that they were not all of us. So the things manifest, you get what I'm saying? He's gonna sit here and say, you gotta you have to allow wickedness to show itself. Come on. You can't sit here and say, oh, this brother's wicked, and you don't know anything about him. No, I have to take that first punch to sit here and say, oh yeah, this nigga's wicked. You get what I'm saying? You gotta allow these things to happen. That's why it says they are made manifest. To sit here and prove, oh, you're a, he knows I'm an Israel, he knows he's an Israelite, but won't follow the commandments, won't keep the laws, and still wants to continue in his wickedness. Come. You get what I'm saying? And that's what we gotta deal with. These are our coon brothers that yeah. America, those are American Negroes. You get what I mean? Teach you got something else? No. Thanks for the understanding, yo. Oh. It'd be hard not to catch a case out here sometimes, man. Did you have any more questions? No, I'm good, but thanks. Definitely. Uh, what you gonna do Colin, next? Take our number down, man. We have Thursday classes. Uh, I'm gonna uh, chill out with my woman, run back, go back and forth to work, try to stay out of trouble. All right. What about the commandments, though? Come on. I'm gonna read more of the Bible, you know what I'm saying? Try to stay righteous, pray up, try to eat good, you know what I'm saying? This shit real, bro. So, yeah, take the number. We have Thursday night classes at 8 30, man. We're online. Uh, our elders, Priest Sabaka's out there. He's preaching the word, he's teaching. 
brother A in here. He's probably running sometimes Thursday classes, so he'll be teaching it, man. And right. whatever questions happen to come up, we'll answer everything as best we can to our best ability. You know what I mean? All right, yeah. no doubt. So, before you get out, I got to Romans, Romans 9, verse 6. Not as though the word of the Most High have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. So, hold on. I ain't really Basically saying that those brothers that are part of Israel, that he may be Israel, but is he acting like Israel? Is he shaving his head? Is he cutting his beard? Is he disrespecting the law? You know what I'm saying? Is he lying, cheating, stealing? Is he, he's part of Israel, but he ain't really Israel. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He may be one born by blood, but because his actions and he chooses to be the way he is, it makes him Israel, but he's not Israel. It's like he casts people out. Okay, see, that's the point I was talking about. Okay, see? Okay, you just, um, you get casted out. But what about, I'm telling okay, but what about, calm down for a second. I get, I, get, I get passionate about this shit. Okay, so you got a, oh, like the shorty, and I was just, uh, like you got a shorty in, this, uh, in the projects, you know what I'm saying? Like I said earlier, you know, he coming up in the hood, his pops ain't nowhere to be found, his mom's just strung out on dope, you know what I'm saying? His rats running around and shit, you know, he got to get out there and get some bread. So he don't know no better. So he get cast out, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got time to read the Bible, man, he hung. What about him? We got two elders, the bot and the elder over HOI. They used to be in gangbangers. They used to be deep. These are men that used to, that uh, my elder, he got shot seven times and stabbed, right? So to say that they don't have the chance to get it, it's a fallacy, it's a lie. Most of these Negroes, like that brother that was talking about mental depression is, is hard, it's serious, yo. He came over here crying drunk to us and we hugged him and said, look, you an Israelite, put some fringes on, we love you, all. And what that nigga do? Went back into the world. A lot of our people know, like these higher ups like Shaq. Shaq know he an Israelite. Guess what Shaq does? He funds the prisons that lock our people up. That's I don't crazy. love all my people that are doing disgusting things. I love my brothers who got fringes on. You see this man, he got a wife and his child. He brought his child out here. Stupid niggas not gonna do that. They gonna go kill, murder their people. They know drugs is hurting their people. They know shooting up, they know when they get a gun, I shoot this, it's gonna kill somebody. But you gotta understand their mind state. When you go into the Bible, it says, I'm not a Jew outwardly, I'm a Jew inwardly. I actually love my people. You ask one of these Negroes, what is another black person is worth? They won't. You going to hell. He don't even know where to go. He don't even know where to go, man. <laughs> he don't even know where to go. He don't even know where to go. He's just driving. He's driving over the They do this every, t every time they come through here. They do this all the time. They blow their sirens because they the damn devil. But I digress. Um, when I ask other black, and I ask white people this too, but I ask other black people this. How much, how, how much uh, does another black person's life is worth to you? And they'll say, well, you know, I'm not sure, you know. I'm not sure how much they work to me, but they mean a lot. You know, you want to know how much another black person's life is uh, worth to me? My own damn life. And a lot of our people don't know that. I'm out here for my own people. I'm 20. I could be out in Magic City. I could be out uh, doing what the hell ever 20 year olds is doing. But instead, I chose to come out here and deal with wicked Negroes who hate me. I've had people come up and say they wanted to kill me, but I love my people so much, just so damn much, I don't give a damn. That's right. If I die, I die for them. And, and, if, and if they killed me because I came and wasted my time, when you look at all the other people that came, Malcolm X, did he come to hurt black people? Did he come to, to destroy black people and have them oppressed? No, he died for his own people. And you had, guess who killed them? Our own damn people. So I'm going to love the people that killed Malcolm X? Hell no. That's Just true. like the brother said, that had to be made manifest. He came up to save his own people, and then we killed him. So now, you know, in the world, we, I don't want to get carnal, but you got black people and you got niggas. And niggas not going to get it.
That's right. Huh? Oh, well, I still right don't there. think you should forget, him, forget about him, though, because, you know, some guys just got it so bad, man. I don't want to go off into my story, but you know, you know how you know how it is. Like it's it's bad for some guys, man, and they might not ever get it. So if they don't get it, then what? Uh, but excuse me, uh, you know that's cool. But you know, if you're not ignorant to the knowledge of what's in the Bible or how to conduct yourself and stuff, yeah. there's a chance to repent and turn your ways. You know, that's why that's why Yahweh Shah came back and shed his blood for us. But you have to. Be able to hearken on to the Most High's words and do the law, statutes, and commandments, or get destroyed with Babylon. You got two choices, huh? And Salaki, even if they get destroyed, they still get the kingdom. That's how much the Lord loves them, man. Come. Even if they get destroyed, they still get the damn kingdom. You know how crazy that is? Come. How much your God gotta love you that you you die in the second death, but you still get the kingdom. You might. Might not be the higher up on the face of the earth when it comes. Oh back, no, they're but, not. They're not going to be running the kingdom because they wicked as hell. This going to be a regular, low, lowly citizen. And, and how does how does that feel? You, you, you dealt a bad hand, man. You dealt a bad you know hand, saying, but that, you at least you still get the kingdom. Get out here. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm trying to think more positive, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm here, trying to soak up information. Chapter 19, verse 7. For the law of Yahweh is perfect. It's what? Is perfect. Go ahead. Converting the soul. And the testimony of Yahweh is sure. Making the wise the uh, wise the simple. The statutes of Yahweh is right. Rejoicing the heart. The commandments of Yahweh is pure. Enlightening the eyes. The fear of your hour is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of your hour are true, and the righteousness all together. So the law is meant to convert, man. Huh. If you got brothers right now, you gotta understand this. This is a period in time where Mosai said, look man, I didn't bring, I didn't come to sit here and be friendly with everybody. I came to bring a sword. That's I came right. to bring, you know what I'm saying, division. To sit here and division amongst who's supposed to be divided amongst who. You get what I mean? So, for a lot of us, we're all going through the same fight of fighting with family. Fighting with brothers and sisters we knew and grew up with that don't want to hear the law. That don't want to hear the law. Or they don't want to do what they want to do. He says, man, you're supposed to cast them off, man. I gotta let them go. They want to live the way they want to live. That they got that's their choice their life. They made a choice themselves to be the way they want. While well, you chose to sit here and follow the laws. Right. But you can't, if you stay on to them, they're gonna drag you down. That's right. So I, I consider myself like I, I show respect to people, you know what I'm saying? I help out, you know what I'm saying? I try to help out people that's uh I see is hurting. You know what I mean? I gotta, I gotta look out for my family. I mean, I consider is it isn't some of that keeping like the laws? You know what I mean? Just like just being a righteous person, you know what I'm saying? Or do I? Okay, you say what is righteous, but your righteous is only built, is only judgment, is by according to the law. Come! You get what I'm saying? Okay. So, I mean, think about it like this. Can you say you're righteous if you're still lying? Can you say you're righteous if you're still cheating on your girl or you, you, you adultery? You can't say you're righteous if you're breaking the law. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's not even, it doesn't even match out. You can't say that. You can say you're righteous, yeah. I mean, you, you have a good heart, 
but you means you probably still have broken the law in one way, shape, or form. God. If you'd sit here and say, I don't believe in the law, or I don't trust in the law. That law is foundation. That law starts from somewhere. That's exactly, that proves righteousness. You get what I'm saying? That law proves that righteousness or not. It proves who's, whether you're going to be your friend or who's going to be family or not. If they're not willing to lie, you know what I'm saying? You got something to reason. Okay. Um, if you got something that you want to, testing anybody you want to make a friend or you want to make a girlfriend or family whoever it is guess what that law is the basic starting point to say it's like is your head in the right place those are the 10 questions you should be automatically asking you lie you cheat you still do you believe in these things and you'll notice that right off the bat if they don't like something they'll snap that's right they'll get upset They'll snap, that that law breaks people. It cuts them to the heart, no matter what. If especially if it's their own book, if this their own stuff, they won't face it. It's hard for them to face their own sin through that law. You know what I'm saying? So once you get that law, you use that as a basis to say, all right, are you a good person? Right. You keep this law, you keep that law. Would you, would you try to talk to my girl? Would you do this? Would you do that? It's how people interact. You get what I'm saying? And that's what he's asking us to do. Uh, all right, you got three precepts. You first. It's the book of Sirach, or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 6. For the Most High hateth sinners, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly, and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Give unto the good, and help not the sinner. That's right. So I bring that out because you said you do this and that for my people. Like it's charity, like you do good for your people. The most high he hates sinners. So if you're doing good to a sinner, whether it's your people or not, you're not doing nothing to, to better yourself or benefit. You're not doing anything that, that glorifies the most high. Unless you're doing good to someone that's keeping the law, statutes, commandments. You say do on good to the good, right? To be good means the law or someone that's keeping the law. So do good, do, let me read it again, it's like terrible things. Book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse seven. Give unto the good. So give unto those that are keeping the law, statutes and commandments. And help not the sinner. So somebody that's in sin or a sinner are people who are not keeping the law, statutes and commandments. And I want to prove that to you real quick because I want to back up what I see. It's the book of Romans. The book of Romans, chapter 7, and verse 12. So their works and stuff, right? So this is the precept going off of the brother. I forgot which brother was bringing it out. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 16. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hung down and cast into the fire. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. That's right. You understand that one? Okay. Clearly, yes, clearly understand that one. You don't even need no breakdown for that one. I got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I got one more for you, I got one more for you. Just, just to let you know he don't do with the masses. And when Jesus, and when, uh, sorry, Salaki. Book of John, chapter 6, verse 5. 
And when Yahawashai lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, and he said unto Philip, Whence shall we buy bread that these may eat? And he said, Prove him, for himself knew what he would do. So when you come, so when you come talk to when people come up to you in a mass group or something to you and be like, hey, you know, we want to rock with you, you gotta prove people. You know what I'm saying? You can't just go off of what people say. You know what I'm saying? Because that's going off of people's vain heart. Because you know, one thing about the scripture to tell you, if you go off your heart, your heart is vanity. So you gotta understand when it comes to mass groups, don't go for the masses. God, you got your, got your up? Okay. All right, God. Hey, one more, one more, because right. I want to clarify. I want to back up what Shalom. I was saying about being good. Shalom. Remember, to be good is the law, right? Right. You understand that? But you got to actually know this, too. So I'm going to bring it out, you know, the word of God. By keeping the laws, you know, that's being good. Right. I mean, that's the foundation. Right. <laughs> so, Book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 12. Bring it up. Wherefore, the law is holy. Go. And the commandment holy and just and good so that's what good is he said give unto the good in Sirach remember so that good person would be somebody that's what holy keeping good. the laws statutes right you understand that just want to make sure I, I can't have you walk away and not know that I, I didn't know that either you know what I'm saying I had to come to, I had to come to realize that too no we all didn't know that's know. right I used to give to the poor people and you know what I'm saying give them food on a, on a schedule, a daily, on a weekly yeah. schedule. It just hurts to see him like that. But the thing is, you gotta understand, like, what if this person's, you know, shooting up dope every night, but you feeding them? What if this person killing there? You don't know what they got right. going on. That's right. But, but you do know, based off what you see, they got the fringes on, they trying to keep the law, statute, and commandments, a certain right. same guy you serve. That's somebody I'm gonna help. That's, somebody that's I'm right. You feel me? Uh, that's all. Uh, all right, y'all later. Shalom, uh, Bring that out. Revelations chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of what? this prophecy, what? and keep those things which are written therein. Yeah, right. Right. Keep up. And keep those things which are written therein. God! For the time is at hand. For the time is at hand, man. So you gotta realize these brothers gotta start keeping these things and doing them, man. That's, That's what this right. is coming down to. The most high separating all the little gainsayers and all the hypocrites right now, saying, oh, I'm doing this, he's doing that. Well, we're your fringes. Why you ain't on show, show up on Sabbath? Why you ain't doing this? Why you ain't doing that? These are gonna be questions the most high is gonna actually ask us. Why, why didn't you show up? Where's your portion? That's right. You get what I'm saying? He says, I'm gonna show my fruits. Through my work, I can explain my 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 my, uh, my my faith through my works. My faith is in I keep the commandments. I show up on Sabbath. I make sure I put fringes on. I make sure I do these things. You get what I'm saying? So our brothers are sitting here like realizing that as they wake up, man, to stand up for themselves. Sit here and hold hold yourself accountable right now. You get what I'm saying? That's where we're at. Hold yourself accountable to the law. Hold yourself accountable to, to how you dress. Everything. Hold yourself accountable. Take heed to thyself, man. Um, give me a Esther 8, 10, 13 real quick. Esther 8, chapter 8, 10, 13. So I, like I was saying before that, that Esther, in this month of Adar, the 13th, there was a slaughter. They, our people slaughtered a bunch of people, 75,000 people to be exact, to sit here in defense, defending themselves and saying, who was willing to hurt us? Get what I'm saying? And it was ordained. This day was ordained. And what we're, I'm talking about is Purim. Come. Es Esther, chapter 8. Verse 10. Go ahead. And he wrote in the king of Assyria's name and sealed it and with the king's ring. Go ahead. And sent the letter by post on horseback and the riders on mules, camels, and young dromedaries. Uh, young dromedaries. I got to get ahead. that. It's like it. 
and wherein the king granted the Jews which were in every city to gather themselves together. To do what? To gather themselves together. Okay, so we gathered ourselves together. Keep going. And to stand for their lives. To stand for our life. Go ahead. To destroy. To destroy. Go ahead. To slay. To slay. Go ahead. To cause to perish. To cause to perish. Go ahead. All the power of the people. All the power of the provinces. You said there you're going to put these people to death. Huh? To protect ourselves. Huh? And this was a letter ordained to the king through the, through the Most High and say, and say, you get what I'm saying? Keep going. And prophecies the, that would assault them, both little ones and women, and take the uh, spoil of them for a prey. Go ahead. Upon one day. Upon it, what? Upon one day. On oh, one day. Go ahead. In all the provinces of the king, as sure as, namely, Upon the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, which is the month of Adar, Go ahead. and the copy of the writing of for a commandment to be given in every province was published unto the unto all people, and the Jews should be ready against the day to avenge themselves on their enemies. So he said, on the thirteenth, the fourteenth, the fifteenth day, we're supposed to. Do to get ready to defend ourselves. Come on. Come on. That's what this was set up to. In the month of Adar, this month, he sat here and said, from the 13th day to the 15th day to the 16th day, you're supposed to be ready to, to defend yourself. But at that time, he sat here and we had a little, he turned it into a feast day. Saying after that we had slaughtered these 13,000 people in defense of our own people, he turned it